We can't put boxes on top of boxes, can we? Furniture, chest. No. I've seen some later items which you can definitely stack up, but these ones, no. So I think what we'll do is put another chest here. So we're not going to have much more space for stone items, but that's alright. So we'll put that away. This is then going to be the metal chest. And this is going to be the miscellaneous stuff chest. There we go. And then the wood and stone goes in here. Then we've got some extra food. Those can go in there. And that's actually going to be fine. And now it is definitely light outside. And there you go. See... During the day, things look a lot cooler, especially when you get the lighting in. It's just the darkness, like, it really brings the, um, the low texture quality to life. So I think that looks pretty cool. What do I need to make a bow? That is a good question. Wood and leather scraps. Am I saving the leather scraps for anything else? I don't think I am, actually. Oh, you know what? I could do with eating. One of them. One of them. Where's the leather again? Here. We have six. How many do we need? Eight, so we don't have enough. Oh, that was a bit of a stutter there. Okay, so I'm thinking... Time to go exploring again. Now, I really do want to check out the, the caves here. So I think that's going to be my goal for today. Although I'd also quite like to make some actual proper leather trousers. For the better protection. We can always check the cave and then run if we need to. Raspberries. Wow, these seem to have respawned pretty quickly. Alright, that's... That's breakfast sorted. Can build a... The house with chest and tables and all kinds of things, but a bow? Nah. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Skellington. <laughs> Both the living and the dead are after you, Mr. Deer. You should probably give up. Oh, you know what? I bet the blunt weapons do more damage to skeletons. I bet that's true. Oh, that's a boar. Ah, falling down the hill. That's a lot more bushes there. Okay, so that structure we've seen before. We're now heading to a little area where I've not been to. Just so we're doing a little bit of exploration on the way. Clearing a bit more of the map, seeing if there's anything I missed. Now in the news, man with club running after deer. More at ten.
That's another burrow. Yep, the club is really good against skeletons. And Hunin's over there. I bring tidings! I'm sure you do. Alright then, buddy, what's up? What you got for me? Delves and dungeons can be found across the Tenth World. They are monuments of the past, most often filled with the riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. Oh, is this another dungeon entrance? Ow! Oh. This is one of these. Okay, I'm glad I came here. We have a light source, but we don't have a huge amount of light coming from it. I guess we can always try to get out again. Alright, let's try this. References the uh, Tree of Life and the Nine Worlds. Yeah. Uh, wrong one. I meant number eight. Although I think that that's going to need to move to like there. Skeleton trophy. Yellow mushroom. Alright, so we're going to use the rule of right. I'm going to go right first. Now these look like they're just blocked tunnels. No damage done. Scary sounds are scary. Ah, Certling Core. That's what I was after, to do the smelter! Whoa, hello. A chest, a ruby, some feathers, and some arrows. I will take all of your things. This place is much bigger than I expected. Two of you. That's cheating. Took a fair amount of damage there. So just going to give ourselves a little bit of time to heal up. But now we can build the um, the smelter, which is really good. Oh, there's some more mushrooms. I'll be having those. I wonder if it's eventually possible to like put a lantern or something on your belt so you don't always have something in your hand. <laughs> Bleeding from multiple wounds. Better eat a raspberry.
Okay, I think I'm ready. Well, hopefully this is getting us lots and lots of burn fragments. I think there's a skeleton spawner up here. You can't trick me! I don't think I'm really equipped for that place. Skeletons do still really hit me hard. Oh, that goes even further down. I can't see how that could possibly be bad. I know, we can't beat the skeletons. Let's go deeper. And again, maybe that wasn't so bad. Kind of glad that we uh, upgraded the uh, the club for this place. is also badly damaged. Oh yeah, and our uh, club skills aren't going to be as good as the axe. So actually, it's not that far off. I guess we were using the clubs pretty aggressively earlier. Whoa, jeez, that hurt. Actually, it didn't hurt. There we go. All right, making progress. It forced me quite a ways back though, blimey. All right, I need some light. Is there another spawner in here? Doesn't look like it. Light's going to run out soon. And I'm sure that's going to be fine. Trapped in here in the dark. I think that's everything. This place has been looted. Did I not miss a chest? I don't think so. That one I already got, but it was empty. What in here? No. 
So this is where I came in. Where Where is it from here? I'm going to put this down for a second. Okay. Man, these places are super claustrophobic. Alright, victory is ours. Get me out of this hellhole. Lots of pieces of dead people. Right, so I don't know if these things respawn, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it once and just be like, hey, I've been here, I've cleared it at least once. How am I doing for capacity? I can carry a lot more still. It's mostly just my... There's another spawner down there. Um, torch, which has run out. So yeah, the Black Forest, fairly significantly more dangerous than the ordinary forest. Yeah, I know I need leather scraps, but it's not something you can just like, I want leather scraps. You still gotta just find the boars by, you know, exploring. That water down there? Yes, it would be. Oh, copper! We are harvesting copper right next to an enemy spawn. Whoop. I'm sure this will be fine. I foresee absolutely no way that this could go wrong. Alright then, Mr. Shaman, it's just you and me. Oh, you're a gold level one. Okay. I'm gonna do your poison flamethrower. I'm gonna run up and hit you. It's now night time. Oh dear. Alright, let's grab the pickaxe and just keep on doing the copper. So we did actually see a bunch more copper uh, up by the tunnel, didn't we? At least it was the same kind of texture. Am I playing solo or multiplayer solo? How heavy is this stuff? Not massively. It's also quite slow to gather, though. 
Oh, hello. Ow! He bought some friends. That's not very nice. I guess I'm playing single player, but they're playing multiplayer. It's night time, so these things are going to keep on appearing. If you don't mind, I'd like to do some mining. Did I loot the thing from the dwarf spawner? Uh, no. I'll have to go back for that. Oh look, our friends are back. Head down here. Ah, we're being raided. Send out the longships. The Vikings are under attack. Templin's here. Hello, Templin. How are you doing? Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. Being hurt. Ow, ow. Trying to regain some stamina so I can actually hit you back again. Ha ha! Fear my axe. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing today? How are the Ontario's Confederation doing? Oh dear, that's a bad guy. Right, I'm going to head back to where it's a bit safer, so I can actually say hello properly. By the head of Zarkland. So you still got Zarkland's head. I assume. Retook Malaka, killed the Khan, vassalized successor state. Nice. I didn't realise the Khan was around. Alright. Gonna try and run to where it's a little bit safer. Rather than the thick, heavy, dark forest of death. Also known as the Black Forest. What are we playing today? So this is Valheim, which is a new Viking survival type game. So you are sent to Valheim, which is like the realm between Midgard, which is our world, and Valhalla. And the idea is you basically need to clear out a bunch of angry spirits from this area in order to then make it to Valhalla. And this is kind of an interesting game because it combines, as you can see, like action combat with building. So all of the stuff that you see around us is completely destructible. And I am now running back to where my base is so I can show you that. It's a very simple base. I'm not much of a builder. But it's home. It, it's not that. It's, um, it's better than that. And you start in this game with literally nothing, just the shirt on your back and fists. And then you can use the fist to punch trees, as is tradition in games like this. And then from there you can start fashioning tools, you can get axes, pickaxes. Uh, you can start cutting down trees to get the wood resources and things that you need. Actually, I'm going to use my club against them, because it's cheaper. And then these lizard creatures drop meat, which you can eat. You can cook it up and eat it. They're very squishy. It feels like these guys should be a lot tougher than they are. But thankfully, they're not. Make sure we grab all of the ET bits. And I do apologise if it's a bit dark. I do try to sleep through the night, but I was just caught out. Oh, a boar. I would like to fight you. Ow. Gotcha. 
It is dangerous at night. It is so much safer <laughs> running around during the day. All right, let's let's make it back to our base. I think that's going to be a good idea. Unfortunately, when it's night time, you get the cold debuff, which really reduces the uh, run speed. Not run speed, stamina regen. Which reduces run speed, because you have to walk for more. Alright, so just over this hill. There it is. Home sweet home. And I built that completely from scratch. Am I being chased? No, we're good. And then this is our home. So we have a cooking pit over there, which we can use to cook stuff up. We have our food supply here, so I'm just going to drop off the various cuts of meat that I just brought home. I'll have to cook some of that stuff up later. Chests for storage. Various resources stacked up, like we've got wood supplies, we've got the workbench, which can be used to craft other items. And then most importantly, actually, let's repair everything first. And we're going to rest, and then I can show you during the day, because then it's a bit easier to see. Professor NV, Nyango, Rupa, Titus Michan, Human Trash Can 9000, TC Man, Pizza for Life, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. And Estavio, thank you very much for the follow as well. Alright. Sounds like it's a bit of a rough day outside. It is, great. Well, we're having a super thundery day today. But you can see that this is our house. Now, one of the little details about this that I absolutely love is you see we have a fire indoors. That fire is producing smoke. That smoke has to go out of a chimney. Otherwise, your house fills up with smoke. Like, this game is just full of little details like that. So you actually need to have this opening at the top of your roof so that the smoke can escape. And then in a piece of actual Viking architecture, I have that little, like, hut on the top, which protects us from the rain. And again, all of that built, again, completely from scratch. We have a rune stone around here somewhere, which is one of the early, like, information things. Yeah, that red bit thing over there. And then you can cut down all the trees, you can mine out the stone for stone, all kinds of things. I just love this smoke thing. I don't know why you get such a big kick from it, but I do. Alright, so let's go and sort out our equipment. We have a lot of things to put away, including cloth scraps. And that's important because we now have eight. Together with our wood, should allow me to make a bow. How freaking are. Alright, we got a bow. That bow does 25 damage. It needs another four leather scraps and another deer hide before we can upgrade it. Now, can we make spears? Oh, we should probably make some wooden arrows. That's true. Flint spear. Leather scraps, wood and flint. Okay, that's quite expensive. Let's go and grab some more of the wood that we have stashed away and just make a bunch of arrows. Can also do fire arrows for feathers, resin, and wood, but I think I'm just going to go with the the regular arrow. Doesn't do the additional fire damage, but that's all right. You like this smoke simulation because it emphasizes how detailed the simulation is. Yeah, probably. Can you attend a thing? So this is intended for co-op multiplayer. You can have, at the moment, in early access, up to ten players in a co-op game, and you're all working together to build up like a, a community. I am just playing the single player, so I haven't done that, but yes, you can form governments and things. I don't think it's anything officially supported by the game in the same way as like Eco would have. That is another game I want to try, actually, Eco. Yellow mushrooms, I'm guessing those go in here. We did bring home some copper, which is awesome, so let's put the copper away. Let's put the trophies away. What can go in there? The rubies can go in there. So, bow is now number seven. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hammer on number eight. Bow can be four. 